Hi everyone, I'm Sue. Welcome to my channel. This is Blue Hair and Health. And if you haven't followed me before, if you're new to this channel, um, subscribe and you will follow me along with my journey for gardening in the, the new upcoming 2022 gardening season. I put out cooking videos, um, videos on chickens and turkeys and different things that are going on on our little little mini homestead here. So today though we are seed starting again and we are doing this time according to my garden plan. This is nine weeks before our last frost date and I'm getting ready this week to plant peppers. Peppers take a long time to, um, to grow um, and they don't like cold so we can't get them out into the garden until well after our frost date. But let me show you what I'm growing this year. Okay, here's a bunch of packets. Some of these are new, but some are old tried and true ones. This is one that I'm growing this year, King of the North. I like this one. It is a large bell pepper, uh, goes from green to red, edible at all stages, has a nice thick wall, uh, gives you nice, good size um, peppers. Also, California Wonder I grew last year. Very comparable. I actually, quite frankly, couldn't find a difference between the two. So I have more seeds. I'm going to grow both of these varieties. One thing about pepper seeds, though, is that they don't last forever. You have perhaps two years of viability when you buy pepper seeds. You might squeak in a third year, but I did try these. These are, um, let me see. This is new and these are from last year. I tried their viability. I did get germination on them. So I'm going to try these two again. Um, just in case, I bought a new pack of California Wonder. Um, another one which I always grow is the Nata Peñas. Uh, we aren't a big heat family, um, although I do make a good salsa. And um, I have made cowboy candy in, in the past, and, and we like it. But Nata Peñas have the, the wonderful flavor of a jalapeno without the heat. So this is what I'm trying, um, I'm growing again next year. I usually grow a whole bunch of them and then I give away the starts to um, friends and family. Um, I have this one I grew last year. It is an ornamental pepper and I had them out in my garden, in amongst my flower beds, um, in pots, uh, just stuck all over the place. Enjoyed it. You can pick them and eat them. They're really sweet. They're great on salads. They're even, they're great snacking ones when you're out in the garden and you see one that is um, turning colors and is ripe. Very good, just an extra little one. Um, this particular one is a yellow pepper. Haven't grown any yellow peppers. Going to do that this year. Um, actually, I have a second one. This is a hybrid yellow. Um, it's an Italian type, so I think that means it grows kind of long and skinny, or skinnier than a regular uh, blocky bell pepper. So that, those are the peppers I'm gonna grow this year. It's not difficult at all to plant pepper seeds. They're nice and big, you don't lose them. You can see them. Um, basically, the procedure is the same as you would use for most seeds that you're starting indoors. So let's get to it. This is the new system I've been using this year. This is a styrofoam um, form here with little individual peat pots in here. Um, I, I'm not so sure about it. I'm, I'm testing it out this year to see if I like it. Um, these little plugs, you have to buy them individually. I'm thinking I not too keen on that, but I could fill these blocks again with my own soilless mixture. 
um, after I use up these. But anyway, what I'm going to have in this um, in this block of seed is I'm going to have six of the California Wonder, six of the King of the North. Um, this is the the Golden California Wonder, so it'd be a yellow one, and then this is the uh, Cornito Yellow. So that's what I'm going to do in this um, block of seeds. Here I have. <clears throat> This is something, a system that I've used for um, a number of years. This little, it has a drip tray and it also has a, oh, a humidity dome that will go on top. These are reusable. You can get the, the little plugs uh, out of these cells uh, pretty easily. This is my third year on these and they're still holding up very well. I'm very surprised. Um, it sure beats going and buying um, new plastic every year. I'm not a fan of plastic and I'm always trying to find new ways to circumvent that use of, of that unnatural resource that we have. So in this tray, uh, nine jalapenos and then three of um, the oriental, or excuse me, the ornamental covers. So let's get to it. So here, these are old seeds. And so there's not very many left. So I'm going to plant all of these seeds in here in these three blocks. And because I don't think that they'll be viable next year. So I will put two to three in each one of these cells. There we go. There's three. Well, two extra, so I will just plop those down. So I've got four in there. Pretty simple. What I do is I just take a pencil or a pen or something that has a, a bit of a point on it, and all I do is press these down. I think the seed label shows, tells about a quarter of an inch. So all I need to do is depress them about that and make sure they're covered over. Press firmly, but not too hard. You want to make sure that they have direct contact with the soil. There we go. So don't forget to label also. I'm going to be doing nine. Next is the natapenos. Again, I'm putting um, a couple seeds in each one of these cells, just as an insurance policy. The packs come with plenty. There we go, and that's labeled also. So, the, this is ready to go. I'm going to put this on a heat mat because peppers like warmth. Um, hopefully they'll germinate in, um, oh, about seven days or so. I'm hoping by seven days. If not, if I don't get any germination, then I'll just reseed. But I'm starting, um, these seeds early enough so it's going to give them time inside to grow and then they'll go outside to harden off and gradually move them into um, where they will be in the garden for the rest of the summer. So this system I'm going to go ahead and start California Wonder in here, six of them. These you just drop in the center well. And, and again, I'm going to drop a couple down here. And King of the North. So when they grow up 
and they're ready to go out in the garden. I don't plant the mountains of the garden till about four weeks after my last frost date, which brings them to almost the beginning of June, if not into June, just a little bit. Just want to hedge the bet a little bit and not let them suffer any kind of a shock from a cold, you know, cold night that we may get in the latter part of the month of May. And me being in zone 6A, that's quite a bit in the northern latitudes. So I do have to worry about that a lot more. So we do start them indoors because of their long uh, need for a growing season. And I get to start harvesting them usually in August to the end of August and through September until, until the frost is nipping at our our heels. Now I wanted to touch on one other um, method of getting your peppers out into the garden earlier or getting a pepper harvest earlier. But this particular method, and I will link it up there, and I've used this for the past two years, is overwintering your peppers. Um, I had pretty good success last summer from peppers I had from the preceding um, uh, season. And I think I got out three plants out into the garden. So this past summer, at the end of the summer, um, when I harvested all my peppers, I brought some peppers in from outside. As a matter of fact, I brought in four. Fortunately, this is one that um, that made it through the winter. Unfortunately, three did not. Um, this is a jalapeno, and um, it has just started to um, really put on some growth. So that signals to me that there is an increase in daylight that the pepper plant is reacting to. So now's the time I'm going to start watering. I didn't water, um, but just maybe once a month to keep it, it barely moist. So I will start watering it now. Um, I'm not going to fertilize quite yet. I don't want it to take off to way before I can be able to um, put it out in the garden but it has a good um, good crown, I think, of, of peppers. You cut it back very, very severely. You can see that in um, my other video. But I'm very pleased with the way this one looks. Um, the ones that I was able last summer to plant uh, from the previous uh, overwintering did very well and I did get an earlier crop. I don't know that it was terribly significantly earlier, but they did well. They were bushier and they were, I think, more fruitful. I had a good deal of flowers. As a matter of fact, I seem to remember that they were flowering indoors before even getting them outdoors. And of course, with that, I just snapped off the flowers because I didn't want all of that energy going into flowers. I really want it to go into the plant, into the root system, so it would be um, just ready to take on the outdoors when I planted it out probably in um, early June. So this is another way. And if you have the space and if you have the room to do it, um, mine was down in a basement um, uh, in a window that was uh, got some east light and um, but it was fairly chilly it was uh, mid 50s to 60s so um, come next fall I will probably be digging more of these up so that was planting peppers the ninth week before my last frost date. Uh, next week on the schedule is tomatoes. 
Now the tomatoes and the peppers I put off a week from last year because I realized that I really didn't need that much um, leeway in planting them. So follow along with me and if you want to click that bell in the upper corner, um, you can get notified when I post that next video on planting those tomatoes. So until the next time that we can go digging in the dirt, happy gardening. Bye.